Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Powers, and this is another YouTube-only Geekazine video, and today we're going to be talking about Google Music. You might have heard a little bit about it, a little bit of scuttlebutt. Uh, I've been playing for it for, with, with it for the last couple months, and we're going to go and uh, talk about Google Music here right on right now. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here over at Geekazine.com. That is my Twitter handle right there, Geekazine. Um, of course, Geekazine at gmail.com. And yeah, it's a little bit colder here in Madison, Wisconsin. You can see the jackets lined up in back. And of course, the monkey hanging over the lampshade. If you're looking. If you're not looking, then sorry. But anyway, <laughs> what we've got here, we're going to be talking for a minute, a couple minutes here about Google Music. And you might have heard the news that Google opened up their music section, uh, Google Music. And you might be going, well, what is this Google Music thing? Do I, do I need to be concerned about it? What, what should I know about it? What shouldn't I know about it? Um, and uh, anything, anything else on that. So I'm here to answer hopefully all of your questions and give you a good idea of what Google Music is. I've, uh, I've had Google Music since beta, and I've been playing with it downstairs. Uh, basically, it installs pretty easy. I tried to install it on the, on the Mac before I did this because I wanted to see the Mac side of things. I didn't load it on here because, you know, why should I have multiple instances loaded up? But... I wanted to check it out, and I tried to install it, but apparently it's broken on the Mac side. What can you do? So anyway, uh, Google Music is is basically a cloud music-based system, um, just like Amazon and their Amazon Cloud Music Player, just like Apple with the now iMatch, iTunes iMatch. Um, Google has come out with the Google Music. It's been out, for, like I said, for a few months in beta, and get to play with it and go from there. Now, what happens here with Google? There's two, uh, multiple ways you can do this. One is you can have it on your mobile device, only Android right now. I don't think there's an iPhone app just yet. Uh, probably down the line. You can install the download manager onto your computer and let it figure out what you've got for music. Or you can just use the web page and upload music from there. Now, the download manager is something that you can install on PC or Mac. I'm not sure if there's a Linux distribution on there for that, but you then it would then load up and then sit into your system tray and then figure out what type of music you have, um, depending on which folder you've set it to, and then upload music into the cloud to go from there. Uh, uh, Google says that you can do up to 20,000 songs. Now, that's the same with iTunes and iMatch, which is actually 25,000 songs. And you got to pick and choose which 25,000 songs you have. A lot of people have been complaining on that aspect, but the reality is 20,000 songs is a good amount of music. I mean, think about it. If, on, uh, if well, we'll just say four minutes, I, I think the average is three and a half minutes per song. Four minute song, twenty thousand songs means you be you get to listen to your music straight. If you started on January first at midnight, you could actually be listening to music uh, from beginning to end, no skipping, no fast forwarding, or anything like that uh, for the next fifty five days. So you have almost two months worth of music that you can upload, and in all reality, it's it's not just music. It can be anything. You could put podcasts on there. You could you could do sound effects, and you just have a twenty thousand song limit. So that's basically it from there. Um, so and and that might increase as time goes on. It depends on how they do all this, but right now you got twenty thousand songs, which is more than enough and the best part is is it uploads and it goes from there now we're going to talk about some warnings about that but before we get into all of that let's show you this this program this uh this web page right here so we're going to flip over here and then i'm going to show you this it's uh this is basically my google music um i can view it by songs it's just a web page i got google chrome up here where i can see all the songs as you can see i've got a pretty interesting list of songs and there's and if you look at it there's some doubles in there as you can see i've got some podcasts on my friend paul uh, mueller uh and the caffeination podcast um we've got some music in here i've got 
I've got some personal music that I've, you know, some demo songs that I've done, being a musician and everything. And, of course, uh, some other stuff. It's basically what it's doing is it's going into a folder. You can choose, say, hey, I want you to just search the whole computer and upload all the files. Or you can say, I want you to go to the iTunes folder and upload all the files. I want you to go to this specific folder and upload all the files when you do the upload of music. So um, I've got a pretty big library. And this was on my main PC. You know, all these songs are on. Uh, were, came from my main PC. What I p will have in my iPhone, what I might not have in my iPhone, and stuff like that. To upload music, it's actually fairly simple. You can either choose this option right here and upload a song. This was working before. Um, I think you can drag music in here and drop it and, and upload it from there. Or you can choose the upload or download music manager. Now, for the Mac, basically, you press this button. You, uh, you then download it here. And then it downloads. Maybe it'll do a better job this time on the download. But uh, every time I tried to download the DMG, it would uh, do this and basically error out saying that uh, it can't find the download manager. So I mean, it usually means that the file's a little bit corrupted. So we'll give it a try again. And it's doing, it's opening it up and nothing. No background message or anything like that. Let's try it again. Yep, there we go. It says the following disk images could not be open, no mountable file systems, which maybe uh, maybe I've got to change, fix some permissions on my on my Mac here. But uh, yeah, I, I can't seem to get it open for the Mac. But for the PC side, I got it opened up, and I got it running into the tray. It basically asks you some questions, asks you where your music are, music is. Yeah, that's the word. Music is, and go from there. I highly suggest you choose a folder and not a general thing. Don't just don't say search the whole hard drive for music. Otherwise, it's going to do everything. If you've got a program on your computer that has like 500 MP3 little MP3 files, all 500 of those files are going to upload, and then you're going to go and you're going to have a really muddled up uh, uh, music area. So, but basically, you got all the uh, all the music's here. Uh, you can see this. This is on songs, and I'm using Chrome, so I'm just using uh, the two finger shuffle to uh, up down, uh, go up and down, and I can get a lot of different stuff. You know, um, like uh, this is our band playing the song Radar Love, and as you can see, there's a lot of songs in here, and a lot of songs I didn't expect in here. And it's something that we're going to talk about in a second. But, of course, podcasts and, and then my friends. And, you know, I saw some Geek Smack stuff. Um, there's, a, there's Geek Smack stuff right there. I just saw a very interesting uh, CeeLo Green song was in there, too. And so, but uh, it's, it's now uploaded, so I can go from there. I'm going to see. And, of course, it, it, it's playing the Geek Smack stuff right now. I'm going to see, uh, there's a little bit of ways to do some sharing, and there's some uh, other options that you can put onto Google Music. So I'm going to try and see if this is a way that we can actually share podcasts. And that would be kind of cool if I could do it that way. But uh, I'm going to play with that a little bit. Of course, if you want to sort it by artists, you can uh, you can definitely do it. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of Matchbox 20 images there. Um, I think that's because it can't really determine the artist on there. For some reason, it's doing Matchbox 20. But uh, there's some other video, you know, uh, album. You see albums in there. And then, of course, uh, other unknown, you'll see a generic Google Music area. Um, albums, same thing. A lot of Matchbox 20 there. It's not, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not a big Matchbox 20 fan. That Not that big. I, I don't either way it doesn't matter to me so or genres I mean you can set this up you just like with iTunes I mean you, you go through each song and you'll see the little arrow right here you'll click on here and you'll say okay can add it to a song, playlist I can edit the song info like for instance Geek Smack Jeffrey Powers off of Geek Smack Geekazine.com year we can say 2011 and I don't know I don't know what episode that was so we'll just update the info from there 
And uh, my rating, I can say plus or minus or, or thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to say there. Um, you can sort it by artist. As you can see, I've got all my stuff right here, all my songs here. And I can go back here. I can make an instant mix. Um, and I can shop this artist, which will then bring up a lot of interesting music that has nothing to do with me. So just like you would expect with any cloud player, this is actually a song I wrote called Happy Hour. Um, you could see that uh, um, right there. <laughs> and, of course, I can, uh, I can check my free and purchased. I can check my instant mixes, which I haven't done any real instant mixes yet. So uh, you, you take about 25 songs. That way you can just kind of, if you're in a mood for something, and go from there. So this is pretty straightforward, just like you would see with an Amazon music player, like you would see with, uh, with the iTunes. Um, straightforward, just uh, watching, seeing how many plays you had. You can check out some stats. And then, of course, this is in, in the Google structure. So you got the Google group uh, bar up here. So if you need to go to your Gmail or your calendar, so on and so forth, and you, can, you can work back and forth. I'm assuming there's going to be integration. So um, already on Google+, Plus, I thought I saw a few people saying that they were listening to music through Google Music, and I, I expect that uh, I can actually share or plus one some songs down the road and go from there and, and get back and forth integration with my Google Music. But uh, uh, pretty interesting, straightforward, and it's a lot better than, than when it first started. There were, there were some problems there. But now it's it's working pretty good. Now here's the download. This is this is the uh, this is the opposite, or the the one thing you have to watch out for. I on my computer I have a lot of client work on there. I do audio and I do video for certain clients. So when I go to the internet, I might be recording something and I'll put it into a folder. This is why you don't want to say, I want you to just search all the folders and find the uploaded music, especially if you're like me and you're working, you use this computer to work or for work. If somebody gives you a file to listen to and Google sees that, because Google's running most likely in your in your taskbar and you'll see it, but there'll be a, pair, a set of headphones and you'll hover over and it'll say Google Music. Anytime an MP3 goes into the folders that you you set up, for them to watch, they're going to start uploading those files. Unless you've set in the settings, don't upload the files when they come into the folder. So if you have, let's say, uh, let's say I'm working with a client and they give me an audio file that I have to mix down or something like that, and I put it into that folder, maybe by mistake, all of a sudden it's up on my Google Music. It's not difficult to 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 fix. Like I like I showed you, all you had to do was go over here and uh, click on the here and then just say delete this song. If I if I needed to, so it's not totally bad. But you, you want to watch where you're putting your files, especially if you're doing files, uh, if you're creating content for clients and stuff like that, like myself. Not too many of you out there do that, so it's not going to uh, readily affect you. But if you're using this as a business laptop, and let's say the CEO gets a little bit, uh, a little bit to creative and creates an audio file for all you uh, for all corporate people out there, and they uh, they put it out there, and you put it into a folder that gets uploaded on Google Music. Uh, even though there is privacy settings on there, I mean, it's not like somebody can go into your Google Music folder and see what you got out there. But you know, just be cautious. That's that's the bottom line on this, especially if you have that Google Music to automatically upload. Now, all the files you saw were on my main computer. I also have Google Music on the PC side on my Mac, and I tried to do the Mac side on my Mac, but that didn't work, uh, as, as you saw. The, the best part is, of course, I, if I put new music down there, it'll upload to Google Music. If I put music on, on here on the PC side, and eventually the Mac side, it'll upload to Google Music, as opposed to something like Amazon. Amazon Music's uh, cloud services, it's, it's great in its own right. I, I enjoy it, and uh, I've got 20 gigabytes to play with, and next year that'll knock down to five unless I pay for the 20 gigabytes again. So I have some options, 
and there's going to be a lot of other music options. I mean, you got Spotify out there. You've got uh, you've got Rhapsody out there. You've got you got some of these other programs that are starting to come in, um, and of course the, the services that you don't really have upload music to. Uh, Spotify and Rhapsody would be two of those. Um, then you also have Last.fm. You have Pandora. But I'm, I'm interested to see how this will work as a, a sharing device because there's going to be some ways that you'll be able to do some sharing with other people. And uh, I'm going to see how that works and play with that and, and go from there. So uh, maybe, like I said, maybe I'll try and put some podcasts on here and see if you can actually download my shows through something like Google Music. It'd be kind of fun interesting to play with so so there it is in a nutshell that's google music uh if you have any questions check it out for yourself it's absolutely free i mean there's no charge whatsoever but if you have any questions feel free to twitter me at geekazine or email me geekazine at gmail.com and i'll try and answer any questions you can go up on my google page jeffrey powers you'll find me uh, up there and uh, you can ask me questions there and we'll go from there so uh, there's a lot that is can come from Google Music, and I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to shape into my life, how I'm going to end up putting it on my smartphone. I don't have an Android device right now, uh, but I can definitely go up to the web page and try and pull it from my iPhone and see if, yeah, if that works, but eventually there will be an iPhone app for this, and... Uh, just have some fun with it. We'll see what happens. Let me know your experiences. Like I said, geekazine at gmail.com. And of course, if you want me to do any other types of videos, just let me know. Geekazine at gmail.com. Twitter me at geekazine or up on Google Plus Jeffrey Powers. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we will see you next time on another YouTube only video. And uh, yeah, take care. <laughs>